everybody welcome back to my studio today I'm going to create this art assemblage in this cool shrine box I bought it a while back and it came like on a sheet that you punched the pieces out and then glued them together it's made of like a fiberboard material so I went through my junk drawer and pulled out a bunch of doodads that I thought I could use as pedestals for these faces that I'm going to put in the box. So I have checkers, um, speakers from greeting cards, you know the American greeting cards that you get that like when you open it it plays music or t says something to you. I ripped those out of the cards that I had received a number of years ago. It's a lid from a tin of peppermints. I have some sewing bobbins from a sewing machine since I don't sew. Um, there's a wheel from an old Hot Wheels car. So just a bunch of this and that that I have saved and it's just all amassed in one big junk drawer full of pieces parts for this very type of thing. So I'm just showing you here all the different pieces and I have some game pieces that have crowns on them. So I'm just going to, I cut some heads from some Tim Holtz paper dolls and I'm going to use those in the corners. So for those checkers, I didn't want them to be pink. So I decided I would just use some mushroom alcohol ink and just go around the outside edges. There's ridges there. So I just painted them, darkened them with some brown, greenish brown alcohol ink. So I started out with a paintbrush and they just, they weren't dark enough for my liking so I switched over to the bottle and just kind of let it flow into those ridges. I did that with all four checkers. And for the box, I decided I would paint it with Nightfall acrylic paint. Oh, this is for the corrugated cardboard that I'm going to use as an insert for the floor. So I painted it with Nightfall. And then I'm going to use just a fabric stencil brush. The bristles are real soft. And dry brush some yellow ochre onto the dry piece of corrugated cardboard that's already painted with the nightfall blue. So I just start with a very light coat and starting off the edge and just bringing my brush lightly across and down. And I'm just going to build up the color starting with a light coat and then I'll build the yellow slowly until I get it to the point where I like it. I'm going for just kind of a weathered old look to this box. So that's what I got. Lots of good texture. And then I'm just going to base coat the box itself with yellow, the yellow ochre acrylic paint. And when I'm applying this, I'm just, I'm not trying to get a real smooth, even coverage. I'm putting it on pretty thick and in kind of a crisscross motion and leaving ridges and it's thicker in some places and thinner in others. That's what I want because I'm going to overcoat this with that blue and then sand it back. So I want some ridges and I want some unevenness so that I can get more of an aged look. So here I'm just showing you that I have overcoated the yellow with the nightfall blue and then I sanded it back and you can see leaving those ridges gives me a lot of really great texture so that's the sanding sponge I used it's just a medium grit and just lightly sanding taking the paint off of the edges and then lightly sanding the faces of each side to scuff up that 
blue paint and expose some of the yellow that's underneath. And I'm trying to be careful of this top because it is glued on and I was afraid if I put too much pressure with the um, sanding that I might snap it off or dislodge it. So I'm really trying to be careful and hang on to it so that I'm giving it some support. But I love the top of this with the sunburst and the cutout. So the box is ready for the insert to be put into the bottom. And I decided to use wood glue. I just thought that was my best bet for adhering that heavier corrugated cardboard piece to the fiberboard. So I just put the glue in the bottom and spread it out with an old brush. And I didn't want to squish down those ridges of the corrugated cardboard so I used the handle of a fairly small brush and just ran it in between the ridges to make sure that the cardboard was adhered to the bottom of the box really well. And I'm using the ultimate glue on the end of my painting stylus just to get some glue <laughs> on the end of those tiny little heads that I want to put underneath the crowns on those four checkers. So grab my tweezers to hang on to them and position them so that I could get them on the checker where I wanted them. And I'll get it in frame and in focus here in one second. There she is. So I just did that with all four checkers to get the faces on and then glued them with the ultimate glue into each corner of the box. So more faces for the faces in the crowd. And this glue, I love this glue. I know I've told you that before, but it sticks really fast and well. So now I have to paint the bases of all those faces, all the doodads out of the junk drawer. So I just painted everything black with black gesso and glued the faces to the little pedestals and glued those into the box. Then I had a piece of antique chain that I just wrapped around that top part and added the words to the top and bottom and it was done. It was a really fun project. I've been waiting to figure out something to do with that box so I'm happy with this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really appreciate it if you did that. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.